Welcome back to Doug Doug's cooking class. In today's lesson, we're gonna examine one of cooking's biggest mysteries. How many bears can each city in Skyrim fight? Is it five bears, 10, like a hundred bears? It's a little bit confusing, but it helps to think of a city like a blob of cookie dough and the bears are like the oven. And what we need to do is figure out how long each city can withstand the bear oven before they get fully cooked. We're starting off with Whiterun. It's a nice wide city. It's got a lot of guards and should have no problem with bears. I will stand here in the center of the market and I'm gonna spawn five bears to attack the citizens. If they can kill those five bears, then I'll make five more and repeat up until the city is dead. Good luck, White Run. Good luck. Okay, you've got guards and random townsfolk here all fighting, but they're a little bit spread out. The children is running away. This guard is kind of being ganged up on the bears. That could be bad for him. Okay, the two bears over there have picked off the beggar. This guard's holding... Oh, the guard's dead now. Okay, bears running around everywhere. This bear is going after the child. You do have the elf over here as well. But most of the people in the main market square have died. Currently, zero bears have died. Um... Normally there's a lot of guards, where are the guards? Unfortunately, Whiterun is doing terribly because all of the guards and citizens are spread out across the entire city. Kind of like if you spread little blobs of cookie dough out across an entire pan. If you spread cookies out like this, it means each one is individually exposed to the heat and will cook extremely fast, just like this child is individually exposed to the bears. This is honestly a terrible strategy. Okay, the two guards, the two guards here, two guards here. This is gonna be huge, this is gonna be huge. Okay, one bear down, one bear down, two bears down, three bears down. Okay, these guards are doing serious work now. Now these two guards at the side just barely managed to defeat that first wave of bears. So now we spawn five more. Good luck, White Run. Currently there are five bears down. Guards are here, immediately go in. Oh no, one guard's down, another bear down, another bear down. That's seven bears, that's seven bears. The guards actually finished off the eighth bear, but then two of the bears were missing. Check inside, all right, let me let me check inside for bears. Excuse me, just seeing if you guys have a, a bear problem. Oh, yeah, they have, <laughs> they have a bear problem. So they've only killed eight bears. We're just gonna let it ride. Five more bears, five more in play. Here comes one guard. Oh no, the bears have come out of the general store. It's still only eight bears. It's a strong hit. Oh, but he's taken out. This is looking pretty bad for White Run. Can this guy kill the ninth bear? Uh, nope. In the end, White Run's defenses are abysmal. They only defeat eight bears before the city is cooked. Write that down. Now, Riften has a few more guards and their citizens are centered around that market. And this will be on the final exam. So write down your predictions in the comments now. Good luck, go. Good luck, Riften. Okay. A lot of guards coming in already. All right, they are actually working together. I'm loving how coordinated Riften is right here. One bear is down, one bear is down, two bears are down, and five bears are down. Holy shit. Five more bears coming in. Here we go. Riften's gonna do fantastic. I can feel it. This coordinated effort. You still have archers coming in from the back. Look at this. Look at how many guards there are. Holy shit. Five more bears. We're now up to ten bears. So unlike Whiterun, all of Riften swarmed to the town square together and fought as a unit. We are now at 25 bears defeated easily. It's like they pooled all of their cookie dough into one giant blob in the center of the pan, which cooks way slower because the bear heat can't easily penetrate into the middle. 35 bears. That's a lot of bears. This is the way that Skyrim was meant to be played. Okay, looks like the bears are being taken down, but they are doing more damage. You can see a guard knocked down here. Okay, guards are starting to fall. Guards are starting to fall. 45 bears. I've contracted bone break fever. Riften has now defeated 55 bears. This is a lot of bears. The guards are dropping. The guards are dropping. This might be the last wave of bears. I think that's all the guards. All right, is there anybody left? I'm searching for survivors. Riften shows you how to bake a fucking cookie. It took like 15 minutes and 57 bears until Riften was finally cooked. Write that down. Markarth's city layout is pretty bizarre since it's very vertical with these paths branching everywhere. Good luck, Markarth. The first five bears are in play. So far, they've taken out the meat wagon. One bear is down. One guard is down. Oh look, you have archers up here. You have archers up here. A lot of archers. Now here, the guards stood way back in the corner of the city and attacked from a distance, making it much harder for the bears to actually reach them. It's like putting your cookie dough into the back corner of the oven because now the heat is only hitting them from two angles and it dramatically slows the cooking process. The bears are starting to win. The bears are starting to win. And you have the archers moving in. Another guard down. Another guard, two guards down. 20 bears. 
immediately going for the guard. The guard's already knocked down. All six guards have moved in. This might be it, though. Can they beat 30 bears? I don't know if they're going to beat 30 bears. Guard is down. They can actually finish him. They do. They do. Markarth kicked serious ass, but they also crashed my game. So they can defeat at least 28 bears. Write that down. Windhelm is the city of kings. And surely Windhelm is going to kick some bear ass. Uh, no, wait. They also spread out across the city and get quickly cooked, only taking out 12 total bears. Write that down. But now it's time for the real test. Solitude. It's the capital city. They have a large population spread throughout their city pan. But they also have this training area with a big blob of six guards who could easily take on the bears. Good luck, Solitude. Bears alive. Okay, they're going for the marketplace over here. This is going to be easy pickings for the bears, but this gives time for the guards to come in and start doing their thing. How quickly can the guards up here notice the bears? They are currently unaware of what's happening. Unfortunately, the bears started eating all of the individual civilians one by one before the guard squad even noticed that they're there. And he's totally down. Oh, that's not good. Okay, the guards have noticed. The guards have noticed. Guards are coming in. Guards are coming in. And by the time the guards finally do notice the bears, it's too late. The rest of the population have been eaten and the guards are slowly cooked to death. Okay, you've got a lot of guards concentrated here now. Oh, guard over there down. Another guard's down. All three are taken out in rapid succession. This could be the last wave. Oh, oh here. This guy. This guy's gonna stop the bears. Nope, never mind. Solitude only takes out 12 bears, and Riften takes it home as the strongest defended city in Skyrim. Write that down. Or is it? Because one big question remains. How many bears can Ulfric Stormcloak in the Windhelm throne room fight? Ulfric only has like four allies in here, but he can use shouts to push the bears away from him. Let's see if it works. Okay. Oh, they immediately kill that dude. But here's your- Oh, and he shouts the bear! Okay, the shouts are gonna be huge. Shouts another, another poor bear! Um, I don't know how the bears are gonna handle this shouting! God, these poor bears! <laughs> these poor bears! Okay, the bears are in the back of the room. <laughs> God, the shouts aren't killing them, but it's disarming them for sure. Ulfric's shouting is like if some dude was blowing on the cookie dough in the oven. By using his mouth, Ulfric can disrupt the bear's heat attack and dramatically slow their cooking. Wow, okay, this is working well for them. Oh my god! Okay, that's five bears. That's five bears down. Five more in play. Here we go. I can't tell which bears are alive now. <laughs> oh god! Alright, the shouting is helpful, but it's not actually doing that much, I don't think. It's just sort of stalling. Eventually, though, an oven is going to overpower some dude blowing on the cookies. And Ulfric Stormcloak was finally cooked after taking down 14 bears. Write that down. But now it's time for the real test. How many bears does it take to kill heaven? Sovngarde is Skyrim's version of heaven at the end of the game, and it's packed full of these strong god warriors. But can bears kill god? Can heaven defeat bears? Oh shit, they froze the bears. And they don't have weapons. Oh god! <laughs> that poor bear! Oh god! Bear! Are you okay? Hello? They handled five bears with ease, spawning five more bears. It's a lot of people. It's not looking good for the bears. This is up to 20 bears now. This is 25. This is 30. Turns out it's pretty hard to cook God. These God warriors are powerful. They're experienced. And most importantly, they are tightly packed together. If you thought Riften was impressive, Sovngarde is a fucking mountain of cookie dough. This shit is a foot deep and impossible to cook. It barely fits in the oven. Cooking this much dough would take forever. So I had to turn up the heat. Now we're going to spawn 30 bears at a time. I don't care how long it takes. We will cook heaven. 30 now! It's so loud! Uh, 30 bears in the pot. This is a lot of bears. They're starting to drop. They're starting to die. They've beaten 60 bears. We're dropping 30 more. Good luck, Savagard. Oh, it's so loud. People are dying. It's just going to take a lot of bears. This is the way that Skyrim was meant to be played. Savagard is now beaten. 90 bears. Ow, God, it's so loud. I don't think they can beat 90. That guy's dead. Is that it? Is that it? The bears have won. The bears have defeated Sovngarde. And in the end, it just takes 95 bears to cook heaven. Write that down. But now it's time for the real test. Can you bake cookie dough in a library? And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Archmage or not. My rules about books still stand. What are your rules about 50 bears? But 
now it's time for the real test. Let me first go grab everybody's beloved Skyrim character, Sonic. Come on, Sonic. This is the way Skyrim was meant to be played. Now, Sonic can take a lot of bears. You're really gonna need to turn up the heat on this cookie. We need a hundred bears. This is the way that Skyrim was meant to be played. This is the way Skyrim was We have to go even further beyond. Inner Worlds is the way that Skyrim- This is the way the Skyrim intro was meant to be- Look at how many all the weeds there! Oh, the, the all the weeds are landing. Yeah, there's so many- and that's how you bake cookies. I hope this was informative. If you only predicted three of the cities correctly, then unfortunately you failed today's class and you're gonna have to take a remedial class about Guy Fieri's donkey sauce.